Well, hello there. Prepare yourselves for a hearty chuckle as we embark on a journey through the worst British accents you've ever heard. Brace yourselves, mates. We've got a lineup of accents that would make even the Queen herself wince. From the rolling hills of Scotland to the bustling streets of London, we've scoured every nook and cranny of the British Isles to bring you a collection of accents so cringeworthy they could curdle a cup of tea. So whether you're a Brit who's heard it all, or an outsider who's just curious about the cacophony of British dialects, this countdown is sure to tickle your funny bone. We've got five accents lined up, each one more dreadful than the last. And remember, this is all in good fun, so don't take it too seriously. Are you ready? Then hold on to your crumpets because we're kicking off with number five. Coming in at number five, we have the beloved Brummy accent, hailing from the heart of Birmingham. It's a bit like chewing on a thick, rubbery steak, isn't it? Now don't get me wrong, we're not here to mock, just to appreciate the unique melody of these accents. So let's dive into the Brummy. It's got a rhythm all its own, like a slightly offbeat drummer in a rock band. You can almost hear the clang of industry in every syllable, the echo of a city built on metal and motors. And oh, those long vowels, they're like a leisurely stroll through a park, if the park was made of treacle. And let's not forget the distinctive brummy twang. It's not quite nasal, not quite throaty, but something in between. A unique sound, like a duck playing a harmonica. Well, if you thought that was a hoot, just wait until you hear what's next. At number four, we've got our good old Cockney accent. It's as if a bunch of apples and pears started having a chat, isn't it? Now picture this. You're walking through the old east end of London. You stumble upon a bloke who greets you with, All right, governor, fancy a cup of Rosie Lee? If you're left scratching your head, don't worry, you're not alone. You've just had your first taste of Cockney rhyming slang, where Rosie Lee means tea. Don't even get me started on how apples and pears mean stairs or how dog and bone is phone. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, but every piece is a different shape and size and none of them fit together. But remember, it's all part of the charm. Cockney is more than just an accent. It's a linguistic roller coaster ride through a world of rhymes and riddles. All right then, moving on from our Cockney friends, let's see who's up next. And at number three, we've got the Geordie accent. It's a bit like trying to sing while gargling water, isn't it? Now who can resist the charm of a Geordie? Melodic, friendly, and so unique it could be its own language, this accent is a real treat to the ears, if you can understand it, that is. Just imagine, you've dropped your T's, you're rolling your R's, and you're bending your vowels like a contortionist at a circus. It's like every word is a roller coaster of sound, taking you on a wild ride through the linguistic landscape of the northeast of England. And let's not forget the famous Geordie phrases. Why I, man? That's not just a simple yes. It's a declaration of joy, a statement of agreement, a proclamation of Geordie pride. Oh, we're not done yet, mates. Fasten your seatbelts as we dive into the final two. Sliding in at number two, we've got the Scouse accent. It's a bit like a seagull squawking at a fish and chip shop, isn't it? Now the Scouse accent, it's a wild ride, I tell ya. From Liverpool, this accent is as distinctive as their love for the Beatles. It comes with a rhythm that's almost musical, like a song you can't quite get out of your head, no matter how much you might want to. Picture this, you're walking down the street when a Scouser comes up to you and says, I mate, got any spare change? But it sounds more like, Hey mate, got any spare change? It's a bit like a roller coaster, this accent. One minute you're up here, the next you're down there. But don't you worry, while it may sound like they're having a go at you, it's all in good fun. Scousers are known for their humor, after all. All right, hold on to your teacups, because we're about to reveal the worst of them all. And finally, at number one, we've got the Glaswegian accent. It's like trying to understand a bagpipe in a windstorm, isn't it? This accent hails from the city of Glasgow, and let me tell you, it's a real tongue twister to the untrained ear. Now picture this, imagine your tongue doing the highland fling while your vocal cords are playing a game of twister. That's the Glaswegian accent for you, full of deep guttural sounds and rolling R's. It's like a linguistic roller coaster, thrilling and terrifying at the same time. And let's not forget the unique vocabulary. Glaswegians don't just go home, they gone hame. And if they're not gone hame, they're oot and a boot. It's a wild linguistic ride, folks. Well, there you have it, folks. Those were the worst British accents according to our countdown. Now don't be a stranger. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hilarious content. Cheerio!